Yeah, so I am Tom Arnauts. I work at IMEC as the group leader for the Thin Film Photovoltaics activities there. I have an education as a physicist, um, already started uh, at that time with my PhD in organic photovoltaics and over time we moved on uh, and nowadays we are working also on perovskite, thin film solar cells. So uh, organic photovoltaics and nowadays also perovskites have attracted a lot of attention because of the very easy way that they can be processed, the cheap uh, technologies that can be used for that and therefore also the idea that this really can have a breakthrough in, uh, in PV uh, applications where you can put them on flexible foils and really just put them anywhere where you want, they're lightweight, you can carry them with you and all the, these kind of uh, uh, many application areas where they can be used. Organic photovoltaics still have the issue that the performance is somewhat lower than the traditional like silicon PV or other inorganic uh, uh, PV technologies uh, like CIGS. They are above 20 percent. Organic photovoltaics are nowadays around 10-12 percent. The uh, perovskites uh, have reached already higher values up to 20% uh, uh, nowadays, but still it's a small area, all these, uh, these top results. So there's need to be done uh, a lot of work on upscaling this and still maintaining the high performances. The other issue is that there is uh, a problem with the stability. Um, if you package them well, it has been already demonstrated that you can use them uh, outdoors, but for 20 years that's not de demonstrated yet, so that's work to be done to, uh, to get to that level also. Yeah, there are already developments with flexible organic uh, modules, um, but they are not yet uh, really uh, having a breakthrough in, in the market. Um, one uh, reason is a bit the, uh, the uh, the issue with, uh, as I mentioned, the uh, efficiency and, and the lifetime, which uh, has to be uh, increased still. The other thing is also it's still early stage um, and also the technology is uh, still developing itself further on such that the price really goes down. It's promised as to be a low cost technology, which definitely is possible, but therefore also uh, higher volumes have to be uh, made to really cut down the prices down and then it will really uh, go into everybody's backpack and so on.